Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with episode 309 of Ask Dave. Today we're going to take a look at something really simple. We're going to solder two wires together. And in order to do that, I've assembled some equipment, so let's take a look at what we've got. Okay, here is the equipment I have assembled. I've got uh, solder. This is both 6040 from Radio Shack. This is thicker. This is thinner. The thinner stuff is good for circuit board work. This is a little tool you can get from anywhere that uh, just will grab stuff and hold on to it. We're just going to use one claw right here. Here's a piece of wire I'm going to cut in half. And there's the cutters. Right there, here is the wire stripping tool. Here is the probably the most essential tool of all, a uh, pair of safety glasses. The soldering station itself consists of the soldering iron and a base unit that keeps it at a constant temperature. This is called a rework station because it also has an air gun here that is used for surface mount components if you want to do that, but you don't need to use that part at all. I do. And we're going to use it a little bit later on to do some uh, heat shrink tubing. Speaking of heat shrink tubing, here it is. Uh, the heat shrink tubing, I'll show you what it does. This tubing shrinks when it gets hot. And so we're going to use some of that to insulate uh, what's going on. So let's get started. And this is the soldering iron right here, and I've got a real fine tip on it. The thing comes with several different tips. Depending on what you're trying to solder, you may want to use a tip that holds more heat. In this case, we're just soldering a simple little wire, and it's not that big a deal. This little thing down here is uh, kind of a ball full of uh, metal shavings. And you use that to clean the iron like that. Okay, now the uh, soldering iron over here, uh, the main box, brings this to a constant temperature, which is very nice. Now I'm going to put on the safety glasses. These are available from Home Depot or Lowe's or any place like that. And let's cut our wire. Okay, we used wire cutters sometimes you know, they're just cross cutters whatever uh, they're very common now we're going to use this tool this tool is a wire stripper uh, if you go to my um, <clears throat> page on my website at decastlercom slash amazon there's a bunch of amazon links there and this is one of them um, and this isn't too bad so i'm going to strip about a half inch off of that end and about the same amount off that end, of course. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap these together. So that they're kind of, whoops, that's not going to hold, is it? All right, let's revert to an easier way of doing it. We'll just twist them together like this. So we've got this right here. Now I'm going to put this in the little vise here. Okay, and let's get just as close as we can to that. Because the part that we want to solder is right there. So we make sure that this thing can, in fact, melt solder. And we do that by bringing it up to the tip. And sure enough, it melts solder. Now that smoke you see is the rosin core of the solder. If you were able to look very carefully at the end of that, which I can't quite bring that into focus. You can see that there's a hole in the middle of it and there's some rosin flux in there. So what we're going to do is apply the heat to the joint at the same time we apply the solder. 
it heats very easily and it is now soldered now that's hot and I wouldn't touch that that's not going to pull apart okay we're going to just push that over and then we're going to take this package here of heat shrink tubing and we're going to find a piece that fits over that easily let's see if this does right here we got to make sure it actually fits over it it does okay so i'm going to cut off a piece of this right here there like that save the rest of it and we're going to thread this over that connection right there right there okay see just like that now what I'm going to do is turn on the hot air and I don't need it too terribly hot okay we're going to blow hot air on it And that is very hot air. That's the thing about these rework machines. You can actually get the air out of it so hot it'll start a fire. So you need to be real careful uh, with these. You can also get heat guns at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's that will do this very nicely. You might even try it with a hair dryer. And we're going to turn the hot air off. It takes a moment for it to cool. Now let's take a close look at this right here. That tubing has kind of wrapped itself around that so the tubing is not going to go in any direction. It is stuck there. So what we have done is soldered those two wires together with a connection that is strong physically and is well insulated. Nothing is sticking through anything like that. And there we have it. We have soldered a wire. That's all there is to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just a very simple thing, but a lot of hams are called on to do this. The equipment that you need to do it is pretty simple and doesn't cost very much. And it does enable you to put things together so that they stay together. Thank you so much for the support you offer this channel. You can go to decastler.com support for various ways you can help fund this channel. Also important is for you to subscribe and to click like. Thank you so much for your support and until we see each other next time, 73.